Hi YouTubers, I'm Al Gracian from ElbowPepper.com. You're growing plants indoors. You've picked out your lights and selected a good distance, but how long should the light cycle be? Should you run your lights 24-7, or do your plants need a rest? Also, is there any relationship between light duration and light intensity? In today's experiment, we're exploring these ideas specifically with lettuce. It's important to note that different plants respond differently to light cycle durations. Some are classified as long day plants, some are short day, and others are day neutral. This gets into the concept of photoperiodism. The period of uninterrupted darkness can trigger whether or not a plant enters its flowering or reproductive phase. So, long day plants flower when night duration decreases below their critical photoperiod. But, short day plants require longer periods of darkness, perhaps more than 12 hours of night, to induce flowering. Meanwhile, day neutral plants can flower regardless of light and dark cycles. Well, we're working with a bib lettuce, and a quick web search tells you that lettuce is a long day plant, so we need to keep the day cycles short to prevent bolting, right? Or can lettuce be grown under long light cycles? What about 24 hours of light with no dark cycle at all? Yeah, we're going to test that. In today's experiment, we're trying three different light durations, but we're also trying three different distances. Hold up, you can't change more than one variable. Well, we're actually trying to match a variable. We're trying to create the same DLI for each plant. DLI, or daily light integral, is a sum of all the photons reaching the plant canopy over a 24-hour period. Our target DLI for this test is 16, but we're using different light cycle durations. Plant 1 will get 12 hours on and 12 hours off. Plant 2 will get 16 on and 8 off. And plant 3, 24 hours on. Imagine getting 3 inches of rain in a single day. It might be a steady light rain all day and night, or it might rain heavier for half of the day, then stop. Or there might be a torrential downpour within a two hour window. The same number of drops in a single day, but delivered in different ways. We're doing the same thing here with photons. PPFD tells us how many photons hit an area in one second. With a little math, we can calculate the total amount per day, the DLI. Since each light will run for a different period of time, each setup will require a specific PPFD. Longer photo periods call for the lights to be moved further and further away, reducing how many photons hit the plant per hour. The objective? To try to deliver the same number of daily photons, each in a different way. How will this affect plant growth? With similar daily photon dosages, will they grow at the same rate? Or will that dark cycle alter plant growth? And what about lettuce number three? 24 hours of light. Will it bolt? What do you think? For our test, the lettuce seeds were pre-germinated and then transferred to their rooting plugs. Here we are at day one under our lights. On the left is our 12-12 cycle, then the 16-8 in the middle, and the 24-hour continuous light on the right. At day nine, all plants were growing, but plant three was looking just a little larger. On day 16, all plants looked okay, but plant three showed a little tip burn. Here we are on day 23. Plant one has its first signs of tip burn. 
Plant two has minimal signs of tip burn, but the best looking growth. And plant three has severe tip burn and deformity. Also, the deepest color of green in its leaves. Even after day 29, lettuce number three has still hung in there with no signs of bolting. Of course, it shows the highest deformity and tip burn, 24 hours of light with no break at all. But the plant grew quickly with no vertical elongation. The light intensity was 185 ppfd. Compare that to our previous experiment where 175 ppfd produced much less growth. Why? Because we had a long period of darkness each day. With no break in light exposure, this received 60% more photons per day. Oddly, in an earlier test, we did observe serious bolting in all three plants. The cause appeared to relate to light quality, not duration. Those plants were getting a custom blend of red and blue wavelengths. The ratio of colors induced bolting but switching to a broad spectrum white LED has suppressed that response. So this particular lettuce variety responded to light quality more readily than light dark duration. At day 30, we've pulled the plug. Here's how the plants turned out. Similar in size, but all have at least some tip burn. A reduction in DLI would help with this, Perhaps 14 or 15 would be better for the next trial. All data has been collected, and here are the results of our test. The longer light cycle produced the most growth. Let's look closer at each plant weight. Obviously, this is a very small sample group. To get more meaningful data, a test could be set up using several plants per photo period. Or the exact same test could be run several times to see if we get the same results. Although we have a stepwise increase, plant three was only 21% larger than plant one. There is a boost, but certainly not enough to justify the added electrical costs. How much did it cost to grow these plants? These SANC LEDs offer some good efficiency but the shorter the light cycle, the more growth we got per watt. Plant one was smallest, but that 12 hour photo period made it the cheapest to grow. So what's the takeaway from today's test? Do your lights seem a little weak? Sure, you can move them closer, but you can also try increasing the light duration to compensate. Check to see if your plant is long day, short day, or day neutral, or try an experiment and see what happens. Be aware though that custom red-blue LEDs can cause unexpected growth responses. We've seen that excess light can cause tip burn in lettuce, but that can be resolved in a couple of ways. We can try raising our lights to reduce light intensity, or we can also try reducing the light duration. Reducing the day cycle brings the added benefit of less power consumption. Light intensity and light duration are both key components that allow us to calculate the DLI. Low light plants like lettuce will fare much better if we keep that DLI lower. So see how your plants are responding and make adjustments as needed. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support on my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already and as always, happy gardening.